Now we're going to see diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is the infection or inflammation of a diverticula. So here we have the colon. Uh, we have a outpouching here. That is the protrusion of the mucosa and the sub mucosa uh, to the muscularis propria. This is a diverticula. Um, a lot of diverticula is called diverticul diverticulosis. And when there is inflammation of this, usually due to a infection because of obstruction, here let's say that a fecalit is locked here, then this would be inflammation here due to infection. So this would be diverticulitis when there is infection due to or secondary to a obstruction of the diverticula. The patient would present, and because this usually arises on the, the diverticula, usually is on the left um, colon, the patient would present with the left lower quadrant pain, could be vomiting, nausea, constipation. Yes, usually the patient has a history of constipation. Um, constipation is, let's say, a predisposing factor to the uh, diverticular formation. The patient sometimes can can come with the perforation signs, like warning, or war, uh, yes, the warning, warning, etc. Because the this diverticula can rupture, this infect, infected diverticula can rupture, and so there is peritonitis. The management is with CT scan. The diagnosis would be with CT scan because we don't want to do the colonoscopy or sigmoidoscopy because we can perforate. So we would do a CT scan. Uh, and in the CT scan, we could see just the inflammation or we could see an abscess. And depending on the size of the abscess, this should be drained uh, either interventional or surgical, depending on the size, besides the antibiotics. The antibiotics uh, need to cover anaerobic um, bacteria. This includes E. coli, bacterioides, enterobacter, klebsiella, um, enterococcus. So the drug of choice could be metronidazol plus ciprofloxacin. Alternatives include piperacillin, tazobactam, um, ticarcillin, clavulanate, and for mild disease, we give amoxicillin plus clavulanate, or clavulinic acid. Um, complications include the fistula formation, fistula formation between, let's say, the, the 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 colon here when this rupture so fistula here with the um vejiga so the patient could have fecaluria or with the vagina so fecal discharge from the vagina or um air on the on the urine so pneumuria um <coughs> the fistula is a complication of this rupture of the diverticula. Um, other complications could include strictures, etc. But we need to treat it with the antibiotics and if we find the abscess, surgical or interventional drainage. And the the scheduling a colonoscopy like one to two months after the diverticulitis event because we don't want to perforate. But in order to do the diagnosis and to see if there are other diverticula.